Iranians made history following their presidential election two weeks ago. They captured the world's attention at a scale never seen since the Islamic Revolution. When the government cracked down on international media reporting the story, Iranian citizens used their personal mobile phones and cameras to take pictures and upload them to the Internet for the whole world to see. A drama that gave political cartoonists around the world good material to work with. Creativity soared from Europe, the U.S the Arab world and from inside Iran, where this cartoon comes from. The idea of recounting the vote is to identify who voted for the opposition and shoot them. Iranians using their cell phones as their torch to freedom. Here, an Arabic view that the Iranian street is fed up with the Mullah regime and bursting out of its black robe. And here, a depiction of Supreme Leader Ali Khamenei not wanting to hear or see anything relating to filled up boxes of opposition ballots. There are many cartoons describing the state of affairs in Iran, playing on the Iranian flag colors, showing a country torn between the government represented by President Ahmadinejad and the opposition and Musavi. There's also a clear criticism of Iran's clerics. Here, a mullah is staring down the green, symbol of the opposition of the Iranian flag. And here, as the cleric confiscates a blindfolded video camera, symbol of the restrictions on professional media reporting the story, the mullah's feet are cut by none other than the World Wide Web. The government's actions were questioned in many languages, here in Arabic, showing the Iranian authorities with a handgun threatening to shoot down freedom and democracy. And here, in English, Ahmadinejad's son asks his dad why millions of his supporters haven't taken to the streets as those supporting the opposition have. The Middle East region is on pause, waiting for developments in Iran. But more than anything, the genie is out of the bottle. Octavia Nasser, CNN.